All right, we finally made it. It's the last installment of the series. Doing a race at Scorpion Speedway today. Here's a good look at George's Lotus 18, his race winning Lotus 18 coming around the corner. And then Alan got a chance to get his Penelope Pit Lane Lotus 18 that looks beautiful on track. Mike's gonna have a little trouble there through the S's. And now we're ready to introduce my new broadcast partner, who's gonna call the beginning of this race and let us know what she thinks. Okay, deciding to be the red car in green car. So near the candy was fun in it, funny. Yes, we have a red and a green car. Cause it that green green car. You're right, that green car wrecked. And it's fast and too deep to be or not. And as you can hear my broadcast partner, these cars are fast, but she said to be or not to be, so I'm not sure how this race will turn out. And what do you think about the times these cars are laying down? It should be a time to be credible with. Wow, thank you for the insight. These cars are incredible, and they're a lot of fun to drive as well. Is there anything else about this two-lane track you find interesting before you start calling the action again? I think this car is a red car. He's not close into the fast, into the net. Yeah, and that's a great job explaining the action here. That red car is coming up quick on the green car. That's myself, Blake in the red lane in the Maserati, trying to chase down, chase down Paul. Got about one minute left in this heat. How do you think this is going to end? I think it's not to be a uh, sleepy time. Oh, sleepy time. I'm not sure about that yet. It that that comes a, after lunch. Is, but the bridge was too high. Yeah, that bridge can be a little bit tough. It's a tricky section going into that yeah, hairpin and going up and over the bridge. bridge. Quick left, oh, right turn. Over the bridge. It did turn to be. Thank you. All right, and now I'm finally getting within striking distance of Paul here. Let's see if I can reel him in these next few laps. Only about 30 seconds left. That's going to give me time five laps about there to, to try to pass him. Slow going here, only about two-tenths of a lap, three-tenths of a lap faster than Paul. But here I go. I'm going to send it into the next corner here, and absolute disaster. And I feel sorry for Paul there. I kind of wrecked him, messed him up, his, his groove, his rhythm. I'm going to make another try at this pass through the S's, and boom. Bump wheels, and you know, with these open wheel cars, it only takes a little bit to throw you out of the groove. We're gonna wrap up here. I'm gonna finish with 18, hopefully 19 laps, but that's gonna give me a real tough challenge next to beat George. Mm. Okay, we're gonna finish out our laps. There we go. Okay, the second of two heats here. I'm in the blue lane this go around, going up against Mike. I'm gonna need a very clean heat to try to catch George with 37 laps. That's gonna mean I need 19 or 20 to tie or to win. All right, both cars away well. Hey, how do you think this race is gonna end here? I think it's a big hinge to be an incredible race cars fast. Yeah, these, these race cars are incredible and they are fast, that's right. You can see that little hump as these cars are coming towards the camera there. That is one of the trickiest parts of the track. If you don't get on the brakes before that, there's a good chance that you're going to be heading into a, a stiff wall and uh, you're going to be busting up the resin bodies of these nice cars. Well, I carried a bit too much speed into that bridge, causing that D-slot. But um, these cars are going pretty quick, around 6.6 .6 seconds per lap. Now, in, in our ordinary cars, this uh, track usually goes 5.5 seconds per lap in our NSR cars and, and things of that sort. And as we're approaching the one minute mark in this final heat of mine, I'm going to turn this over to my broadcast partner to get get a little flavor of the play-by-play. Girls to coffee the go. The coffee Yeah, you see the cars going through that curvy section. Yeah, if you got to be careful there because if you carry too much speed, you're going to have a little bit of trouble. Now... I have already come out a couple of times in this heat. That means I'm going to have a hard time, if not impossible time, trying to catch the leader. George looks like he's going to carry one of his first race wins with the club here. There you go. I go off again. A little too much speed coming up onto that bridge. As we said in that previous heat, that right left can really cause a bit of trouble for these cars. We're going to need to put in some deeper wood guides, but that's part of the test and tuning process. And we got 20 seconds left here. It's going to be close, but I feel I'm going to end with something around 36, maybe 37 laps, if I can just absolutely storm the last 15 seconds of this heat. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I came out again up there around the hairpin and, you know, pushing a little bit too hard, trying to find that extra tenth, and that's going to spell the end. George is going to take his race win. Looks like I may come in second, and someone else will be in third there. Again, thanks you for watching, everyone. We'll catch you next time.